So guys, today we are playing a brand new game called Scum, and this is being advertised as the most realistic survival game that has ever been released. So things like your weight and the food that you eat and the skills that you learn and the things that you practice actually influence how well you play this game. And you can see from the trailer that's playing behind me right now, some of the things that you can do in this game. It has crazy high-tech weapons. It has really cool fists like first-person combat. And it's got all the survival things that we love. You collect food, you collect weapons, you search cabinets, you do all kinds of cool stuff like that. And so this is a game I've been following for an unbelievably long amount of time, waiting and waiting and waiting. And today the game is finally out. So today we're gonna go through the zombie game basically test it out my first time ever playing this game and I'm so excited to share it with you guys so if you enjoy please remember smash that thumbs up button with your eyes closed and let me know hashtag I did it with my eyes closed so if you're fat you have more health so if you're a big tub boy if you're muscular you have more strength less health you can be thin and move quicker and it all randomly will or it all affects how you play so to me it's freaking awesome I'm gonna turn tattoos on because that's freaking legit uh, that looks like a creepy face and in terms of body, I'm going to make it like me, so <laughs> Jack. And that's not enough for you. If you're like, well, lover fellow, that's cool. You're cool. I'm a cool guy. We're all cool people here. What if I told you that as you upgraded your skills, you learned new abilities? Like you could see people easier in the bushes. Or if your running's better, you can run longer and cooler and quicker and jump over things easier. Strength skills. So I have 10 points to distribute throughout strength. So we're going to give him melee weapon, max that sucker out because we're big. And boxing. That's it. I don't need right, no guns. And then we're going to go for running, max that sucker out, and endurance. No resistance, all right? So the design is a beast that chases people down. Dexterity. A stealthy beast. Oh, this is beautiful. And then as far as intelligence goes, um, camouflage. We have now created the stealth strength machine, and I think that's plenty as far as I'm concerned. So, here's our character. I <laughs> freaking camouflage. Come on, man, that doesn't even make sense. Also, I do want to thank G Portal. They did give me this key for free early access. So if you guys want to serve for scum, check them out. They host these servers, might be the only ones. <clears throat> Real talk though. All right, we are in guys. This is our first time exploring scum. So this is multiplayer. There's about 40 people online right now. And first off, hold on, let me turn off motion blur. No motion blur changes everything. So seems to be running pretty well so far, but this is online, right? So there are 40 people on. The map is unbelievably massive. So you can think of this game as a zombie survival game, like like what um, DayZ was supposed to be, but freaking amazing from what I see. So yeah, I mean, <laughs> I guess we'll put our fists away hopefully here in a second instead of putting those suckers out. So what's interesting is instead of holding shift to run, you actually scroll your mouse wheel to increase your pace. So you can go down to like a really slow walk or a straight up uh, sprint. Obviously, that's going to drain your stamina a little bit. So, as far as I'm concerned, we're a muscly, hulking dude, so we don't really need guns. Because in this game, guns are extremely hard to find. But we should be able to find some stuff in here. So, our goal is to survive, kill zombies, not die to zombies, kill other players. But most importantly, kill other players. So, hold down F and then go to search. Let's see what we get. No items found! Incredible! How about that? Oh, so here in the inventory, we have found nails. So that's a lovely thing to find. I'm sure that we can use that to stab out the eyeballs of people that are now around us. I feel like that's a good move. Okay, so we're putting these in our pants. Now that is interesting. It actually uses your clothing as storage. I kind of like that. I mean, you know, in games, normally you have a bag and you're like, where's this stuff going? Now it makes sense, you know? Two pockets and a shirt pocket. That's all you need. So I have heard jokes that this game starts off like a searching through cupboard simulator. And while that may be true at first, I'll admit that it's a little bit satisfying to do because you just don't know at this point what you're going to get. Turns out nothing most of the time. Boys, we switched to jeans. We got four pockets now. We're no longer a prisoner. Well, I mean, I think we still are a prisoner, but we got jeans. So we're, we don't look like a prisoner. All right, let's continue this journey up the steps that never... Ooh, a flannel shirt. All right. All right, as far as I'm concerned, that was extremely successful. I think we got some good items, I mean, comparatively. And our dude looks pretty fresh. Like, honestly, he looks pretty good. Like, if you look at him... Actually, he looks horrifying, and I'm a little bit scared of how he looks. Uh, scared, I just said that. Oh, guys, look, I took, the <laughs> I took the nails, and I put them in my hand because I thought there was an option. And I'm like, if I'm going to put something in my hand that I have, it's going to be the nails. So now, punch people with nails in my hand. So that's pretty cool. From that, I'm pretty sure those are fairly in-depth crafting systems. You can make all your weapons and all that cool stuff that every single Survivor game has to have to be a good game. So Tinder, all kinds of random stuff. So I want to make an axe. So I need to collect some basic resources. So let's see if I can manage to figure out how that's even done. Oh, my gosh. This is your metabolism. So I was telling you guys, it was the most realistic survival game that has ever been created. So if you look off to the right or the left here, you can see heart rate, you can see oxygen levels, you can see temperature, you can see so much stuff. I don't even know what 90% of it means. Our calories, our calorie targets, protein, carb, fat, fiber. <laughs> so, wow. 
stomach volume holy crap that's insane and there's also events too so you can actually join events and do like fighting and stuff like pvp death team death match cool stuff i'm not going to do that now i'm just going to try to survive oh cool look at this look at this look at this so we just found shoes so we can just literally put those on and then switch out from our trainer shoes so i've got some real shoes on i don't know if that actually helps us classic leather i mean literally leather shoes those are expensive and a backpack so now our inventory just increased like a billion times what it just was so that was a freaking awesome find although i'm still a little bit worried i'm gonna die i don't i don't know like i don't know how i'm gonna do with food and stuff like i feel like i might be doing pretty bad with that because i haven't found any yet okay so i'm trying to figure out how to find rocks and it looks like if you look down there's just this search for rocks button that keeps showing up oh wait 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 wait, wait. i get it i get it so to search for rocks you it looks like you like look in the ground and then a rock might pop up after you do that so if you search the ground like i just found one you might see something blue pop up there so you search it then you pick them up so now we have some rocks i wonder what those blue things were but i didn't really think much of it you know i really wonder if we're gonna run into someone too like on a map this big you would think that's gonna happen but like who knows okay so we just made a spiky rock so now put that in our hands so now we've got a weapon right so if i get in there and look at it bring out the hands yes we do we actually have a weapon now so i'm pretty sure the spike rock is how we can get some kind of plant fiber off of these bushes over here so i'm pretty sure obviously it makes sense that a rock i mean i feel like it makes sense right i'm thinking so f to cut there it is there it is and this if i had increased the right skills it's going to cut a little bit quicker so you might cut like twice as fast if you have the right skills so i think that is so cool because your character literally will change so like let's say for example you're a fat dude you literally could just start working out and not eating food you would lose weight and you could start getting into shape and lose your weight like you, you like that's cool man. why do not more games have that I mean, you could learn about freaking the right nutrition and diet while playing a video game. That, to me, is incredible. So, we got that taken care of. What did I actually get? Nothing. Right, because I have to pick it up. Oh, in vicinity. So, if I do that, I can just pick things up. And the <laughs> stick actually takes up more slots, which is kind of cool. Reminds me of Diablo days. Might as well put it all in my backpack for now. All right, I don't know about you guys, but I am very curious what's going to happen when I step in this water. Like, I don't know if it's going to weigh me down or something, but I got to find out. So, let's get in there. See, when you're a stealthy, strong dude, you gotta act like a marine at all times, which means we always swim through water. Even if you don't have to swim through water, we gotta swim through it. Now let's drink. I mean, yeah, I'm definitely still wet. I wonder if, too, if I go to my inventory and check on my, like, crazy stats or whatever, my metabolism. So my body temperature dropped a little bit. My heart rate is up. My oxygen levels are great. My heart rate's up really high. And my food, I think, is really bad right now. Stomach volume's at 8%, so I definitely need to eat, like, a lot. Like, really badly. Oh, my guy's actually tired. So he's bending down because he's exhausted because I've been pushing him too hard. You poor baby. All right, I thought that's what that was. So I saw the map, and I see these little tiny red dots. If you can see that blue triangle, I know it's tiny. There is a white thing with red dots around it. So my question is, first off, is it a village? Clearly, yes. Second off, is it going to be surrounded by zombies? Because I don't know. I'm going to turn down my stamina and recover a little bit here. Because if there are zombies, I don't want to be caught running out of stamina and like straight up dying. Because we're a super soldier, right? So we should be fine. All right, let's get in there, boys. And I seriously hope you guys are enjoying this. If you are, please remember to leave a like because it helps me out so much. It really doesn't take a lot of time. So please, please hit that like button, guys, as gently as you can with your eyes closed. And tell me if you did it with your eyes closed. It's always a challenge I like to throw out there for all my vets. You I mean, if, if there's no zombies here, then it's literally just going to be the easiest loot ever. And I'm probably going to find some great gear here. At least I'm hoping. A little chest here. We can see what we get. All right, no items found in that. And then we have a ladder. So let's see what we have upstairs. Hmm. Bag of trash. Secret chest. Oh, come on. There's got to be something in one of these chests. You can't put something in an attic with nothing in it. This one has to. So really, I lied to you guys. This game is actually just a simulator to look as good as possible. So it seems like most of these like cabinets and stuff are searchable, but not a lot of them have stuff in it. Like, actually, really not many. I mean, you'd think something this big would have like, at least a shirt. Nothing. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Backpack gets heavier. My character is going to actually move slower, so that's something to keep in mind too while I play. Because if my guy gets too heavy, it's not really going to be possible to like move through water and stuff. Alright, I don't really like that house. Let's get out of there. Ooh, what do we have here? A can opener. Wow, what do I do with that? Use to open canned food. Well, maybe if I'm lucky, I'll find some canned food in here. I mean, okay. So, because our server crashed and the game's having some trouble, we just created the world's fattest character. So as you can see, he weighs 350 billion pounds. He's got that green thing still in his head. But this is his full sprint right here, ready? Right? That's not bad, right? He's kind of trotting along a little bit, but he's got some serious health. So there might be a serious, uh, I, you know, might be a good design to make your characters fat if you're going to go for the melee design. Maybe he's too big to fit through the door, though. 
No, we're good. We made it. I mean, how legit is that? He's got a toolbox in his hand. I mean, this guy looks like a pro. He's got gloves. This looks like every mechanic I've ever met in my entire life. And I work with a lot of mechanics. Oh, we found some beef stroganoff. Well, how about that? Fat boy's getting real lucky. What this game comes down to is it's a really, really cool survival game, right? Because you survive, you kill people, you fight zombies, which I've yet to see any of them. But here's the question. Is it like a battle royale? I don't think it is, right? I think it's literally just you're on it to survive and kill people and play these mini games. But like right now, since no one's really on the game because I have early access, I'll tell you what, guys. This wouldn't be a zombie fighting video if we didn't kill at least one zombie. So we're going to go see if we can take this guy down. Oh, cool. Okay, okay. Maybe I'm taking back some of the stuff I just said a minute ago. Maybe I'm taking it all back. We'll see how the combat is. We'll see if Fat Boy is as good as he looks. All right, question one. How quick are zombies? Okay, they're very quick. A little bit intimidating. A little bit don't like that. Let's get out of here. <laughs> okay, run, 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 run. All right, let's kill him. Let's see what we can do. Look at him fight. <laughs> Look at him go. It's so pathetic. Oh my gosh, he can barely swing his arm. Wow, that is horrible. He does have a lot of health. But his stamina is at zero, so like now I can literally not even swing. Let's just get in there, come on. Do something. Block it. Yeah, now stab him. There we go, there we go. Beat him up, yeah, beat him. You're Logan Paul now, we're boxing like Logan Paul. Let's go. Logan Paul versus KSI round two, right here. There it is, look at the form. Oh, that was such a clean knockout. He's still up. Oh, and he kicks him, he goes for the kick. This is a fat boy that knows what he's doing. All right, all right, hold on, back it up, back it up. We need some stamina, we need some stamina. See, it gets a little bit tough when you're so low on stamina. Oh, it's incredible to look at him. Look at that side profile right there. All right, all right, 42% health. I should be able to kill at least one zombie. <laughs> I love it. I love it. All right, we killed it. Let's see what we get. I believe I'm either searching him or the ground. I don't know. That was a, that was a clean fight. I'll give it to you. Oh, wow, all the items fall on the ground. So we got a candle. Ignitable wicked. Okay, I know what a candle is. Some shoes. So his shirt, cotton shirt, I think we can put that on and layer it up maybe? Yeah. So we can put that on on top, gives us extra inventory. I'm gonna actually put on trainer shoes instead. I now have a can of beef ravioli in my hands. So the only logical next step is to go beat down a zombie with some beef ravioli. The trick to killing someone with a can of beef stroganoff, beef ravioli, is that you may wanna make sure you hit him with the heavy end, all right? So there's two different ends. There's the end where all the grease flows to, all right? That's the lighter end. And there's the head where all the ravioli particles flow to. So you want to get some big, thick raviolis together, and then just beat the zombie down. So there's our zombie target. We still got a little bit of stam left. So I'm hoping. That one seems a little bit scarier to me. I don't know. He's not wearing bright orange, so he just seems. He's actually wearing a sweatshirt. All right, buddy. Me and you. Let's do this. I got a can of strong bully with your name on it. Mm-hmm. There it is. There it is. There it is. Spin around him. Get a couple quick punches. All about the jab, guys. Remember that. Don't worry. Don't worry about his hits. We'll block him, block him, block him. And then you just go. Boom. Boom. Okay, we got 24%. We're not looking great. Come on, buddy. Get those jabs, get those jabs. Left jab, right jab. Give him a hook. Give him a kick. 20%. Okay, we're black and white. We're losing color. We're going back in the 1980s. I don't know if they had color TV then. Sorry to my old fans. There it is. Jab him, jab him. Oh, we need to get more blocks in. 2% health. 1% we. All right, I don't know, guys. I think it's pretty cool. I like, I really like the combat. Something about not pulling out guns and not using crazy high-tech weapons. Just a straight-up fist-to-fist, fist-to-face combat style is really rewarding. Whoa, that's a deer. So let's just go ahead and just try to take down one final zombie here. You know what I'm saying? Me and you, buddy. All right, you got to line it up. Right when he gets here, just boom. Get ready for it. I'm going to see if I can do this without taking much damage. Kind of like if you give him like the punch and then back up, it's not bad. See, punch back up, punch back up, punch. I'm probably gonna run out of stamina though. Is the problem? I think we just need to go for it. That guy is so slow. We can barely get a hit out. Come on, buddy. You got the power. Oh wait, no. Only he only has health. All right, last one got us down to 30%. This one might actually kill us. It seems like he's a little stronger. Or maybe I'm just doing worse. Get some good jabs in there. All right, I don't know if we're going to do it. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Knock him. Knock him. You can do this. You can do this. 10%. We can do it. All right. Not looking too good. Oh, we got him. He's down. With 4% health left. The most clutch kill of my life. No big deal. I'm just curious what this dude's going to drop. That's what I'm curious about. So new gloves. A flannel shirt. Some blue jeans. Hiking boots. Put those blue jeans on, man. In an emergency bandage. 
Interesting. Let's consume. That did not heal us literally at all. So I'm not really sure the purpose of the emergency bandage. I'm going to be real honest with you. We're still at 4% health. Everything is very much black and white. I don't know what that was. Oh, there's a zombie here. Oh, that's a fat boy. Oh, that's a fat boy. Oh, there's another one. Okay. I don't know why there are no zombies in the last one. They can jump too. That's cool. That's cool. No big deal. Like, like. Okay, when it's black and white and there's a zombie sprinting at you like that, it's actually kind of horrifying. Almost, I want to say it's uh, disturbing in a way. All right, buddy. Let's go upstairs. We're going to get inside and nope, we're going to jump off the edge. You can't. Okay, you can follow us. Or can you? Oh, that one can. Okay. All right, all right, all right. We need some food. We need, we're going to run out of stamina. There's no, this is a losing battle unless, jump the fence, buddy. Oh, you're so slow. Come on, come on, come on. Close the door. Okay, are we safe? I don't think they can get us. <laughs> I don't know if they can open doors. Oh man, okay. All right, this game's getting exciting now. We got duct tape. Holy. Well, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to spread the love. I'll see you all tomorrow.